Kapleshwara Temple is a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva located in Mylapur, Chennai in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. The form of Shiva's consort Parvati worshipped at this temple is called Karpagambal is from Tamil, goddess of the wish-shielding tree. The temple was built around the 7th century CE and is an example of the Vidyan architecture. According to the Puranas, Shakti worshipped Shiva in the form of a peacock, giving the vernacular name Malai, Maili, to the area that developed around the temple. Mail is Tamil for peacock. Shiva is worshipped as Kapleshwarar and is represented by the Lingam. His consort Parvati is depicted as Karpagambal. The presiding deity is revered in the 7th century Tamil Saiva canonical work, the Tevaram, written by Tamil saint poets known as the Nayanars and classified as Padal Patrasthalam. The temple has numerous shrines, with those of Kapleshwarar and Karpagambal being the most prominent. The temple complex houses many halls. The temple has six daily rituals at various times from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. and four yearly festivals on its calendar. The Arubthi Muvar festival celebrated during the Tamil month of Panguni is the most prominent festival in the temple. The temple is maintained and administered by the Hindu Religious and Charitable Endowments Department of the Government of Tamil Nadu. The temple's name is derived from the words Kapla, Head, and Vara and alias of Lord Shiva. According to the Puranas, during the meeting of Brahma and Shiva at top of Mount Kailash, Brahma failed to show the due respect to Shiva. Due to this, Shiva plucked off one of Brahma's heads, Kapalans. In an act of penance, Brahma came down to the site of Mylapore and installed a lingam to please Shiva. This place is known as Sukrapuri, Vedapuri, among many other names including Kalai Mailai and Mailai Kailai, which means this place is equal to Kailash. Goddess Karpagambal, a form of Shiva's consort Parvati, Due to a curse became a peahen and did penance here to get back her original personality. Shiva's son Murugan received the spear, Sakthi Vail, for the destruction of a demon from Parvati here. Brahma had worshipped here to get rid of his ego and get back his power to create. The four Vedas have worshipped here. Sukracharya worshipped the Lord here and got back his lost eye. Rama has worshipped here and won the war against Ravana and brought back Sita from Lanka. The daughter of Sivane Sachetiar Angam Pumpavai got her lost life due to snake bite was later resurrected here by the powers of Thirugnana Sambandar. Vailar Nainar, a Saiva saint, attained salvation here and Mylapore is also the birthplace of Tiruvalluvar who wrote the Thirukkural. In Thevram special mention is made about the beautiful Madhvidhi as Malgun Mathri Thavajum Madhavidhi Mylapil Ullar. Thirugnana Sambandar, Arungiri Nathar have sung the glory of Karpagambal, Singara Velar. The 10-day festival during March-April is a treat to watch and Arubathu Mover Festival is attended by lakhs of devotees every year. The commonly held view is that the temple was built in the 7th century CE by the ruling Pallavas. This view is based on references to the temple in the hymns of the Nayanars, which, however, place it by a seashore. Thirugnan Sambandar's sixth song in Pumpavapathikam and Arungiri Nathar's 697th song in Thirumelai Thirupugajha make clear reference to the Kapleshwara temple being located by a seashore. There are inscriptions dating back to 12th century inside the temple. The temple's 120 feet Gopuram, Gateway Tower, was built during 1906 with stucco figures adorning it. The temple is maintained and administered by the Hindu Religious and Endowment Board of the Government of Tamil Nadu. 
The Kapleshwarar temple is of typical Dravidian architectural style, with the Gopuram overpowering the street on which the temple sits. This temple is also a testimonial for the Vishwakarma's Stapathis. There are two entrances to the temple marked by the Gopuram on either side. The East Gopuram is about 40 meters high, while the smaller Western Gopuram faces the sacred tank. The Vahanas, Sanskrit for vehicles, at the temple include the bull, Adhikranandi, elephant, bandicoot, peacock, goat and parrot, while a golden chariot is a recent addition. Statues of the god and the goddess are seated on a Vahana or chariot which is brought in a procession around the temple while the temple band plays music. Devotees gather around the Vahanas and consider it a privilege to pull lift the god and the goddess on the Vahana. There is also a peacock and a peahen caged inside the temple to symbolize the tradition that Karpagambal had come in the form of Pihin to plead to Kapleshwarar. This temple is one of the Saptasthana Shiva temples in Mylapur area. One of the seven sacred Shiva temples in Mylapur. They are Karniswarar temple, Tetaplishwarar temple, Veliswarar temple, Virupakshiswarar temple, Valiswarar temple, Malliswarar temple and Kapleshwarar temple. In addition to these Saptasthana Shivasthalas, the Ekambareshwarar Valluvar temple in the neighborhood is traditionally considered the indispensable eighth. The temple priests perform the puja rituals during festivals and on a daily basis. Like other Shiva temples of Tamil Nadu, the priests belong to the Shavate community. The temple rituals are performed six times a day. Ushtitlam at 6 a.m., Kalsanthi at 9 a.m., Uchitlam at 1 p.m., Sairakshai at 5 p.m., Irandamkalam at 7 p.m. and Ardha Jamam at 9 p.m. There is a separate calendar for the Rahu Abhishekam, sacred ablution. It is performed twice in a day at 11.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. and additionally twice at various times in the day. Each ritual comprises four steps Abhisheka, sacred bath, alangaram, decoration, nevetnam, food offering, and deepa ardhanai, waving of lamps, for both Kapleshwarar and Karpagambal. The worship is held amidst music with Nagaswaram, pipe instrument, and Tavil, percussion instrument, religious instructions in the Vedas, sacred text, read by priests and prostration by worshippers in front of the temple mast. There are weekly rituals like Somavaram and Shukravaram, fortnightly rituals like Pradosham and monthly festivals like Amavsai, New Moon Day, Kiruthigai, Purnami, Full Moon Day, and Saturthi. During Friday worship, the statue of the goddess Karpagambal is decorated with a kasumala, a garland made of gold cons. During the Tamil month of Panguni, the traditional Brahmotsavam annual festival takes place when the entire neighborhood comes alive with a mela, carnival, like atmosphere. Since this month corresponds to the mid-March to mid-April duration, the Kapleshwarar temple celebrates the nine day long as Panguni Peruvijha, Spring Festival. The festival starts with Dwazarohanam, flag hosting, includes the Therotsavam, Arukthi Muvar festival, and concludes with the Tirukkalyanam, marriage of Kapleshwarar and Karpagambal. In Brahmotsavam, the idols of Kapleshwarar and Karpagambal are decorated with clothes and jewels, are mounted on a Vahana and then taken around the temple and its water tank in a pradakshinam, a clockwise path when seen from above. This is repeated with different vahanas over the next nine days. The more important of the individual pradakshinams are the Athigra Nandi on the third day, the Rishaba Vahanam on the midnight of the fifth day, the Deir, about 13 meters in height and pulled by people, on the seventh morning, and the Arukthimuvar festival on the eighth day.